Sometimes nostalgia can be the worst thing. It keeps you stuck in the past, afraid of moving forward and facing the new. If done well though, it can be a reminder of fond memories and a sense of escapism. So where does Batman 89 issue 1 fit in the equation? The creative team of Sam Hamm, Joe Kinones, Leonardo Eto, and Clayton Cowles take us back to Tim Burton's Gotham City. Ignoring Batman forever and pretending like it never existed, this tale takes place after the events of Batman Returns. The Joke and Penguin are deceased, Catwoman is still out there on the prowl, and the Cape Crusader continues to watch over and protect his crime-ridden city. In this first issue though, it's all about Harvey Dent, who still bears a likeness to Billy D. Williams here. He's grown tired of how the city has spiraled into chaos thanks to what he believes is Batman's influence, and wants a vote of no confidence in Commissioner Jim Gordon for aiding the vigilante. Whilst this all happens, it's clear that Harvey's teetering on the edge, with some two-faced tendencies crawling beneath the surface. Batman 89 issue 1 also introduces two new characters to the Burtonverse, Barbara Gordon and Robin. In terms of Babs, she's not how you remember her from the comics or other shows. She isn't a teenager here, nor is she in love with Dick Grayson. In fact, her romantic partner is a bit of a shocker that'll get the fans talking. With Robin, we don't know much about him yet. He makes a nameless appearance at the end of the story, acting as a masked defender of a neighborhood and coming up against a dark knight. And speaking of the Bat, Ham does what he did well in the two screenplays he wrote for Burton. He minimizes the use of the titular character for dramatic effect. You see Bruce Wayne in Batman, of course, but he only appears in half of the issue. It adds to the mystique and intrigue and makes the readers appreciate the moments when he does show up. Artistically, Kinones and Ito capture the essence of the Burton verse beautifully. Not only does Gotham look like the German expressionist inspired version from the movies, but so do the characters as well. The outfits and hairstyles are all on point here, harking back to what graced the fashion magazines of the time. And hey, don't judge, because it was all in vogue back then. The approach to art style also comes across like a deliberate throwback to the late 80s. From the toned down color choices to the traditional layout of the panels, Kinones and Eto produce a storytelling flow that could have been ripped straight from the pages of Detective Comics. You can't help but feel like you've been transported back to that era, both in terms of the story and appearance. Nostalgia is capable of being a rotten liar, convincing you that the past was better than the present. Revivals or continuations love nothing more than to use this to their advantage, almost taunting others that they were first and therefore the best. In the case of Batman 89 issue 1, it doesn't try to be clever and say it's superior to every other version it came afterwards. Instead, it just proves it on the pages. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.